So just like that, we're back with another video on the channel. So this morning, I actually put out an Instagram story poll and I realized that about 70% of you watching this struggle with creating a world-class offer. So I thought, what better way than to solve that problem once and for all by creating this video right here, where I'm actually gonna walk you through a world-class offer. So, and not only am I gonna walk you through it, I'm gonna explain my thought process behind why I'm saying what I'm saying, because it's important if you're gonna get a mentor or anyone to help you scale a business, it's really important you understand their thought process behind why they make decisions otherwise when it comes to you making decisions you'll have no idea what you're doing so I'm going to actually walk you through the mechanisms everything you need to know so if you're a beginner and you want to sell AI or some type of automations please take some notes I couldn't recommend watching this all the way through enough like it's actually going to help you so first of all we need to understand what makes a world-class offer? So the greatest offers are able to solve problems from you delivering a great service. So what do I mean by this? Let's just say hypothetically you are running YouTube ads and let's say you run some good YouTube ads and you get leads for your clients. Now, a solid offer wouldn't just leave it, leave it there, right? You can't just run YouTube ads. You need solid conversion mechanisms to convert the, the eyeballs and attention you're getting from the ads into actual appointments and clients, right? And then you can even go one step further to help them once they sign too many clients. So another example of a solid offer would be one that has mechanisms that can get your clients a fast return on investment. People like fast money right and not only do you need to be able to do this you need to be able to do this without you spending too much time in it because a common theme i see with beginners is they are the bottleneck they are literally on a hamster wheel going round and round because they're doing everything for their clients so you need mechanisms that yeah can make it easy for your clients to make money but without you spending too much time in the actual um, operations so i'm going to literally show you a perfect product market fit offer, right? I'm literally going to show you that in a second. And you can adapt this because I do want to preference right at the start that you can't just offer the same thing to every niche. And I have no idea what you watching this are in, like in terms of a niche, right? Or a market. So you'll need to adapt this. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to explain um, just something quickly before I get into the Myro board and show you how to yeah, structure your offer, right? So there are only three things you can sell online to make money. A done for you service, which is ads as an example, a done with you service, which is coaching or consulting and a do it yourself. This is, this is a course or info product, right? Now, I'm going to be sharing with you a hybrid model that you can adapt and you can actually use all of these in your offer. So logically, right, if you're not making 20K a month and let's say you're a beginner making, I don't know, nothing or a few thousand a month, it logically makes sense for you to start with a done for you offer because it is the easiest thing to sell. Why is it the easiest thing to sell? Because you're doing it for a client. You're making up in terms of sweat equity for that client. You are spending time in the trenches delivering a service for the client. Therefore, it's easier to sell because you're doing it for them. Now, a done with you consulting model is kind of in the middle. I don't think it's too hard to sell, but an, a course from my experience is very hard to sell because not only is it quite, um, not, not commoditized, but it's, it's very common like knowledge that you can find out there right so a common objection you would get selling a course would be um you know you can watch this on youtube or things like that so i think yeah if i was a beginner i would do what i did when i started which was a done for you service which isn't scalable initially but if i made the tweaks that i'm going to share with you in this video it would have been actually a good business model and i got to about 15 to 20 clients with this um but yeah, I was just purely doing done for you. Um, but in terms of the scalability, it's the hardest thing to scale. But I'm a big believer in just not thinking too much into the future, which I think a lot of beginners get stuck on the second and third order consequences of running an agency or coaching business. And what I mean by that is a lot of beginners subconsciously are scared that if they do the outreach or create the content, they're then going to have to take in a sales appointment. And then they're going to have to deliver a service. So it's the second and third order consequences that are probably holding you back. But nonetheless, right, if we can have a hybrid model that combines done for you and coaching with a bit of training, so you're not totally involved in the operations, but you initially do that, then that is probably the best thing to do. And I'm literally going to show you an example right now of a, um, a perfect offer. So in a perfect scenario, this is my thought process behind um, building an, an amazing offer. So 
you need something to generate the client's traffic and lead flow. So let's just say you're working with coaches. It could be any type of coaches um, or it could be, I don't know, whoever, to be honest. The niche doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, you wouldn't provide this for like roofing or, um, you know, B2C. It probably wouldn't work. Um, but B2B, this is probably a very good offer. So essentially, in terms of traffic, you could have something like creating 50 automated reels for the clients. And you can do this using uh, Canva, ChatGPT, and it takes me about five minutes to get out about 50 Instagram reels, right? And you could do that for your clients as just one mechanism to generate traffic um, for your clients, right? And this is just the top of this little pyramid, right? I'm gonna explain how you actually convert this traffic in a second for your clients, um, but it doesn't have to be this specifically. I'm just giving you examples of what I would include in an offer to, um, yeah, to, to scale it basically. So this should make sense. I've created a video on how to actually do this. So yeah, you can watch that video after this video and learn exactly how to um, create 50 automated reels in about five to 10 minutes of work. And then you can also find competitors for your clients who have a three to five X multiplier. So what I mean by this is you would find your client's competition on YouTube. You would find videos which have performed three to five times better than their subscriber count and then you would compile topics and then turn those topics into actual titles that you then provide to your clients. So now you have Instagram and YouTube at the top of the funnel to generate traffic for your client, right? And now if they actually act on this stuff and they post it, I mean, obviously you, you can use Buffer, which is a scheduling tool to actually schedule the uh, content for them. Um, but you now need to be able to convert that as a you know, mechanism, right? So for the Instagram reels, you could simply have, you could build a comment automation bot for them. So the best part is this is very um, scalable. You can plug and play this into each client's business, just slightly change the keyword. So that's the best part. Like no joke, when I started, I ran a virtual assistant appointment setting agency for coaches where I would train virtual assistants and put those virtual assistants into the DMs. So they would send inbound DMs, uh, warm outbound DMs, cold DMs for my coaching um, clients, right? But the problem is I had to manage them. So if I would have just built an automation, obviously that, that wasn't possible because it was like a few years ago or like a year and a half ago. But if I had this, it would have made my life so much easier because you build it once and then it's just in their business that they can adapt and you can provide training on how they can use this after you've built it for them. So you're, you're kind of removed away from it. And then also a DM keyword automation. So this would go into the bio of their Instagram to essentially just get more leads at the top of the funnel and middle of the funnel. And then you can also actually find an editor on Upwork and give it to them. So you can give them a thumbnail editor and a cheap um, normal editor. And I would highly suggest you actually use, because what I found is when you're like in the trenches and you're just building your agency or coaching offer, whatever you're doing, it's like you try, you, it's really weird, but you find people who are very good at what they do along the journey. So then you can offer that to your clients um, and you can see how that can be valuable, right? So not only are we helping them with lead flow and you would need to adapt this to your actual clients. So when you're starting out, I think it's very hard to actually have a product size offer, which is contrary to what most people say, right? Um, but if I was starting out, I would just appointment set, I would just say to people that I can get you more views and I can get you more um, clients using automation, would you find this valuable? Just try an appointment set as much as you can. And then when you're on a sales call, just diagnose what they actually need and build it for them. Because like what I said here, you're going to have to do stuff that you wouldn't do when you're at 20K a month because you have more time, you're able to over deliver. So you've just got to go with the flow in my opinion. And you're going to learn so much getting to 10, 20, 30K a month that you may as well just do whatever your client wants for them basically. So if they come to you and they're saying they're struggling with YouTube, sure, you can give them the YouTube and Instagram um, like topic generator and help them with actually finding an editor, give it to them, make sure you keep them accountable with con uh, posting. But yeah, like you're not just gonna have the same thing for every single person, um, in my opinion. If you're starting out, once you're scaling, once you're scaling and you've got more understanding of a niche, you can then go like really hard with productizing. But hopefully that makes sense. Um, so you can adapt to this. That's the best part. But you need 
mechanisms that can generate traffic. It could be influencer shout outs. It could be paid ads. There are so many ways that you haven't even thought of to generate traffic for your clients, but you also need conversion mechanisms which don't take you too much time. And that's why I recommend building automations that can yeah, convert that traffic into actual appointments and clients, right? So it could be any of these automations. And I made videos on all of these in the past. So I'm not gonna actually show you how to do it because once again, I've got plenty of videos on that on my channel. I'm just putting the pieces together and showing you how to create a really good offer. And then also in terms of the accountability and execution structure, you can use Notion, which is what I currently use for my clients, right? Where you have um, a client hub or a student hub, however you want to call it. And you essentially put your clients in here and then you just put like a checklist that they can go through. So it's like they're going to be completely like, they're, they're, it's just the fact that they know what's going on. Because what can happen is if you leave a client in no man's land. So let's say you sign a client and then you have the onboarding call and then they don't know what's happening, that is when people ask for refunds and that's when um, uncertainty comes around and doubt. Whereas if you are constantly providing your clients with updates, communicating and showing them exactly what you're doing day in and day out and you can manage that in a notion, you can use, um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's, there's another one, I think um, it begins with a T, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a lot of, yeah, like softwares you can use to... Um, to yeah, keep your clients updated daily, which is what I recommend. Um, and then you can always have these as activation points. So an example of this is Breaking Bad, right? With Breaking Bad, they realized that if um, people could get to episode, I think five of Breaking Bad, 95% of them would watch until season five, the whole thing. Whereas before uh, episode five, it's like most people just canceled or didn't watch it. So you need to have activation points in your actual fulfillment. And these are points in which clients are more likely to stay and increase the lifetime value the more activation points they get ticked off. So that hopefully should help you in terms of having steps that the client knows of what's going on next, basically. Um, and do not do not leave a client in no man's land, I promise. It's a, it's a very bad idea. And the first 24 hours when you sign a client is when they're going to be thinking, have I made a good decision by working with you? So you really need to set a good example. You need to, as soon as they pay you, tell them what you're going to do next. And then even after the onboarding call, tell them what you're doing and speak with them every single day if you can. So yeah, accountability is huge as well because you can have an accountability structure inside Notion to make sure that they are posting the YouTube videos, they're using the editors, and then you can even have bi-weekly sales, uh, sorry, bi-weekly sessions with them to make sure they're doing the right thing. And you can even provide training on how to use the automations. And then the best part with this is that you can get to about 10 to 20k a month with this. And then if you aren't enjoying this, you probably will be making money because you can see how you can add so many things to over deliver. And if you charge like a few thousand for this, it's like a no brainer for most people because you're doing it for them. There's so many mechanisms and it's just like insanely valuable. But the best part about this whole thing is that once you've actually done this for a few months or like a year even, you can then do what I'm doing, which is package all of this up and then sell it as an actual plug and play system for B2B or even B2C then, because it's not a high ticket thing. It's a low ticket thing, which is what I'm doing with my school. Like that's why, like if, if for those that are watching this and in my school, you know, I appreciate you. You'll notice that there are like a ridiculous amount of automation. Okay. I can show you here, right? So like these AI appointment setters, these database reactivation, drip outbound campaigns, and I've built these for my clients in the past, right? Who were coaches. So what I've been able to do is instead of just doing it high ticket for coaches, I've been able to build a brand, position myself in the market, and then just sell the implementation as a low ticket thing, which completely removes myself from it because I've already done the hard work of building this in the past, right? So um, yeah, systems is actually what people are looking for, not so much information. Like I can give you, most of you, okay, maybe you didn't know about everything I've shared in this with, in terms of activation points, um, in terms of, yeah, like the accountability part of um, fulfillment, which normally people talk about and how you can do that in Notion, um, you know, generating traffic, converting that traffic. Maybe you knew some of the things I shared today, but it's like systems is what actually people want and especially done for you. But once you have that position in the market, like I do, which is why I recommend everyone creating content because you know, just becoming an expert in a market is like the best thing you could be doing. You can then sell this however you want. You can package it up. You can sell, I don't know, 
ChatGPT or whatever template um, for people and you don't even have to do anything um, in terms of fulfillment. So hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did, just drop a like subscribe and comment what videos you want next i'm going to be dropping i think a video every other day so yeah make sure you subscribe because i'm going hard with youtube and yeah if you are interested in getting all of my automations like ai callers ai problem setters cold sms cold email chip campaigns there's like 15 to 20 of, of them and you get all of this inside a free girl level account just uh yeah join my school it's very cheap i've made it less than a hundred dollars to join and we also have master classes um in there like all the time and guest speakers and you can ask me any question you want so yeah that'll be the first link in the description but if you don't want to join that just drop a like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video i really hope this helped take it easy